guys. Please come get in the car. It's our belief that in these younger ages, the children have to operate around the parent. Us. We are the ones that have to make the house run smoothly. We have to provide. It's our sleep that matters. It's our time that matters. The kids are just kind of along for the ride. It helps when the kids know what to do before we ask them. Who's gonna get this? Who's gonna get this? Oh my goodness, thank you guys so much for having at least the top buckle done. We're gonna have to work on getting the um other part buckle. All right, let's do this. Mom, is my dad coming? No, your dad's not coming. But well, I'm not gonna leave him here. You want him to come? Yeah. He's not gonna come, but you can stay with him if you want. You wanna stay? Mm hmm Okay. No. Oh. Uh, uh, no. Uh, all right, <laughs> so. I feel like every time I have a play date or something, I'm like maybe getting in the car at a decent time, but that extra time it takes to like get kids buckled in and whatnot is becoming a little bit much for me. So I think that I'm gonna have to train you guys on how to buckle yourself, Rambo. Why? Because if you guys could buckle yourself, that would maybe save me two to five minutes. I don't know. I might be exaggerating a little bit, but. All right. So yeah. I need yeah. to train these yeah. kids. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I'm talking. I'm talking. I'm trying to tell the people, the believers out there, that I believe in you guys. I believe that one day my children will be able to get in the car and buckle themselves completely. And I believe that it can happen at three and four years old. Leave it in the comment section. How old were your kids when they were able to buckle themselves? I'm curious because maybe my expectations are too high. But I really do feel like if we train these kids to do what we want them to do, they'll do it. So, yeah. Today is the day. Hopefully. And if it takes more than a day to teach them, then that's totally fine. We'll do what we have to do. But I am really serious about having these kids. There's a negative connotation when it comes to the word training involving kids, as if the parents are some type of drill sergeant and we're in a boot camp. But how can we expect our kids to know what to do if we never train them? Train them to think, train them how to operate. Sometimes we expect more than we're willing to teach. Okay, so you know how mommy really likes for you guys to be able to buckle yourself when you get in the car? Yeah. Guess what today is? Today is what we're gonna call Buckle Up Boot Camp. Yeah! Yeah! yeah. Okay guys, go sit in your car seats. Okay, first things first, we put our strap around ourselves. Very good, perfect, very good, yes. Now that needs to be across your nipples. So we have to lift that buckle part up across your nipples. Not that part. So this part right here Mom, needs I to be up it. here. So you know your nipples? These things need to be right there. Hi. 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 Come on, Kitty. Hi. <laughs> Hi. All right. Mommy. Now. Mommy. Okay. 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 So, you guys are pros at buckling yourself like that. Exactly. Feel that's too. That's too high. Just across your nipple. Is this your nipple? So right there. Okay. Now, Raya Bo, where are you at? Exactly. So now Raya Bo is pulling his little insert part. Feel? No, 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 not that part. He's pulling this to the front. So now pull that to the front. Pull the other one to the front too, right? Very good, Theo, taking initiative. So that one goes on that side. Push it in. Okay, that's the part we come into trouble with. 
So here's what I would suggest. Hold this with your left hand and then push this in with your right. Okay, so angle it. Try. So the point of this is I don't want to have to help you. I want you to be able to do it on your own. So I am definitely going to help you right now, but eventually I want you to be able to do it on your own, okay? Okay, so look, we're going to hold this part right here, and then you're going to push it in. Hold this part. It's not in yet. And now push this in. There. Very good. Now try the other side while I help Raya go. Okay, so you are going to hold this part, Raya. Mommy, look. <gasps> yes, good job, Theo. Okay. <laughs> okay, so if you hold this part like that, right, hold it really strong, and then push it. Yeah. I did it. Okay, now try the other one. Very good. Try the other one. Hold the buckle, and then, yes, keep going, keep going. Yes, yes. Yay! Very good job, guys. So you have to hold that, and then Mommy will come and tighten it a little bit because it's not supposed to be so loose. And I'll tighten this a little bit, okay? Now, so Mommy's going to unbuckle you. Yeah, we're definitely going to keep doing it because sometimes repeated reasoning is good. Yeah. All right. Okay. When I blow the whistle, where are you going? Over right here. No. Right there. Yes. Okay. okay. Ready? Okay. Step one. Buck get your arms through the buckles. Get your arms through the straps. Slow down. Slow down. Step two, buckle the top buckle. Very good, very good, guys. Step three, push in the bottom buckle. What a, I got to do it three times, Mom. <laughs> very good counting, Ryabo. All right, you can do it, Theo. Very good, Ryabo. Okay, Theo, hold it from the bottom, yes, and then push, yes. Okay, look, you have to look where you're inserting. See, this is where you want this part to go, okay? So look at it while you do it. Boogie, I want you to focus. Okay, stop. Take a break, okay? Take a break. Let's pause. Let's pause, okay? Now, focus on what your goal is. What's your goal? What do you want to do? <laughs> what do you want to do right here? Okay, so focus on it. Slow down, look at me. I don't want you to like think it's a race or anything because it's really not a race. I just want you to be able to do it on your own, okay? So I want you right now, I just want you to focus, slow down, hold the bottom of this like that, okay? And then I want you to push this in, but you have to hold this bottom part so that it pushes in. Yeah, I did it. Yeah, I did it, you do it. Very good, very good. Now, do the other side. I'm doing it. I did it. Good job, give me a high five. All right, you got this. Yes, high five. Dad, Yay. I did it. We very did it. good. Okay. Then we did it. All right, we're gonna do this again, okay? Yay. All right. Ready? When I blow the whistle, what happens? So, teaching them how to buckle themselves, win. Saving time, not so much. <laughs> I mean, maybe if I had a knife, I'd be saving a little bit more time, but you know, you can't pull off until they're buckled up, so. Mommy, anyway. mommy, right bow, right, right a bow, right a bow. Your arm's not even mommy. in the car seat. I feel like parenting has like, helped me to develop a greater sense of patience because sometimes
sometimes it's not necessarily about like getting things done. It's more so about like the journey. Training, training, we all need training. Oh, oh. Training, training, we all need training. Oh, oh, oh. Training, training, we all need training. Oh, oh. Training, training, we all need training. But about like training, training, we all need training. Oh, oh. Training, training, we all need training. Cho, cho, cho. We all need training. Cho, cho, cho. We all need training. Okay, now each one, teach one, that's how I was brought up I mean, I was sheltered, but my cousins caught me up I guess I was, I let to one that wondered what would I become when under stars when I...